All right, guys. Uh, this is going with me. Actually, Frodan is taking a slight break. So with me, I have Buddha, uh, who is kind of an up-and-coming caster in the Southern California scene. Uh, Buddha, thank you for doing a little bit of casting with us hey, tonight. Thanks for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, we have Spido versus Mystic coming up. This is a ZVZ. It is on Daybreak. Uh, casters, we are ready. Good luck has been given to both of them. Uh, and so before we get really into this game, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I cast a lot for uh, Team Air, and okay. I do a lot of random casting on the side. Oh, very cool. Uh, yeah, I do it pretty much full-time for free because it's fun. Awesome, man. Well, I think that's the position a lot of us are in right now, uh, taking the casting we can get where we can get it because it is so much fun. Uh, let's go ahead and do some player intros. Take it away. On the top right-hand side of MLG Daybreak, we do have Check Six Mystic playing as the Green Zerg. And on, of course, the other end of the map, we do have, as the Blue Zerg spawning in, Spido. And Spido is such a good player. Uh, Mystic oh, goodness. having a little bit of latency issue. Well... Hopefully this gets cleared up. Yep. Uh, looks like not. <laughs> Prima. Prima. All right. Can you... Sorry, guys, for the technical delay. We're having a ton of lag in this game. Can you go uh, talk to Mystic, see what's going on? We are having one of our admins check that out. We're going to go ahead and jump back to the caster cam until the game gets stabilized. Uh, some lag going on right now. Not sure exactly what that is about. Maybe there's some people in the Slant Center watching porn. It is a possibility, of course. It is a possibility. Yeah. I would hope that their firewall would stop that. But I, I, I don't know, man. It's a land Center. All right. Uh, the game has been resumed, though, so we're going to go ahead and jump back to the full screen of that. Hopefully, we do not have further latency issues for these players. Um, and both of them just droning up right now. Mystic is a little bit behind, probably because of that latency. <laughs> uh, that would be a little bit awkward, but, uh, you know, not a big difference here. Yeah. And, uh, well, we're not going to have any cheese, so I'm going to love to see a nice, long macro game, hopefully. Yeah, but... I mean, we'll have to see what both players decide to open with. Oh, that lag striking once again. Uh, you know, the best option for that is actually to blow it up with Banelings. The lag. Really? You got You have surround, get the good surround with the lings and just roll the Banelings in in the back. How many Banelings do you need to blow that up? It depends how big the lag is. That could be quite expensive. Yeah. It could be. I mean, uh, I've heard of games like players will make like 100 to 150 Banelings and they still don't have enough to kill the lag. This looks like a pretty big lag. Yeah, no, and it's continuing to uh, ravage this game at the moment. Uh, yep. Well, we do have both players going for a 14 gas, 14 pool. Yep, which is uh, a safe opening. I really like this opening in the situation. We're going to have to see, because the player's doing the mirror opening, where the deviation is. That's going to be the big key. Uh, and additionally, uh, yeah, I think... I am actually just going to pause this game because I don't want to see... You're not a referee. Oh, the refs expected to not pause. That is unfortunate. <laughs> a little bit. Um, well, we'll see uh, if they decide to continue to carry this out. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Speed has just now gone down for Spido and Mystic. Spido has pulled off gas. And Mystic has left one on gas. Indeed. And this is something Mystic does quite often in this matchup, and I like the choice quite a bit. Uh, it allows him to get a faster Baneliness should he decide to do that, and Mystic is actually getting six links, so he is planning to be a bit aggressive. We see the drone count already won in Spido's favor, so Mystic will need to make that up. And uh, what do you think about expanding on this map, kind of, sort of, early here, like Spido is doing? Do you think he's going to need a Baneling this very early? Uh, it depends how aggressive Mystic decides to be. Now, Mystic is expanding himself, which is pretty customary. Uh, but he's expanding just a few food later and a drone or two later. So, right now, Spido definitely in the lead economically. Uh, and he will remain so. Yeah, uh, he's making an extra drone, so now he's two drones yeah. up. And uh, how... Well, well, we have even supplies, so we have... Whoa. 
Exquisite. Oh, a queen in production for Mystic uh, before Spider Man. Yep. Uh, that is actually a second queen for Mystic. Yes. Uh, what Spider has is. Did Spider make a queen? Yes, it has, is at the ramp. That's, of course, what we want to do if we get a queen press on you like this. Uh, I'm worried about the latency for DVD. That is actually just insane. Speed can keep the whole player though. Trying to get some touch on the player. Control is so important here. Uh, he's getting it around on the queen. If he gets the queen, it's the only one Spido has. Yeah, that is actually huge. Mystic killing off the queen. He has a great advantage early in the game, and you do see Spido often get the game in this. Mystic has not done so yet. He has 100 gas, he has not spent it. But at the natural with Mystic, he actually almost lost the battery to a couple of links. Yep. Uh, he does have the lings out. He does have that second queen down there as well. So he will be just fine. But this is such a tenuous battle back and forth between these players. The hatch, though, up for both of them now. Yeah, both players throwing down a baneling nest here. And, uh, you know, Mystic's going to be at a huge production advantage with two queens out there. He will, but he has to watch out because Spido has the baneling nest finished at this point, and Mystic does not. So. What we might see is we might see, and this is actually so smart out of Mystic, we'll talk about this game a little bit, uh, but this is really the game to be uh, Even though it's the amount of losing that battle, this is basically forcing the Zerglings not to morph into Banelings, which is exactly what he wants, because I'm assuming he has decided that his opponent probably has that Baneling Nest, and he, of course, does not yet, so he's just buying time for his Baneling Nest to finish. Yeah, and he's doing a great job keeping his Banelings in the middle of the map, uh, trading pretty evenly here. Yeah. A lot of micro going on. And, uh, and there we go. Mystic, as soon as the aggression of base, morphs a Baneling of his own. But Spido goes up for the counterattack. Are there any Banelings back home for Mystic? And the answer is no. This could turn into a very nasty position for both players very quickly. Yeah, only four lings out for Mystic here. Oh, eight now. And, uh, well, it's going to be a pretty even trade. And I don't think Spido's going to get anything out of it. Mystic was in great version control. Loses a handling of two more rolling errors. And he's exploding them right next to the hatch to continue to damage it as well. That is so smart out of Mystic. So both of these players' naturals in the red, uh, prone for a snipe. 19 to 16 drones in check six Mystic's favor. So Mystic has been better about sneaking those drones in. Mystic morphing three more Banelings at the front. 